Hello everyone and welcome to another segment of Jay's Closet. I am AJ Brown and guys, first of all, I miss y'all, but I'm back. It's only been two weeks, but for me, that's a long time. So we're going to use this video to kind of catch up, get some things out of the way, um, explain what's about to come next, and also just, you know, do some maintenance. So first of all, I have to start by saying thank you. Thank you to everyone that supported me. Y'all had 100 views in the first two or three days of my video posting. Y'all don't understand how much joy that brought to my life. Like, I really am grateful and appreciative of every single person who watched my videos, every single person that reposted them, liked them, commented below, subscribed to my channel. I appreciate it. I really, from the bottom of my heart, appreciate it. I really do. And I can't go up with any more words to explain to you guys how much I really appreciate you all. So I really appreciate all the love and support. I've gotten a lot of DMs and tweets and Facebook and like, AJ, when's the next video? Like, it's been too long. I now have to apologize. One, I was having some technical difficulties last week just with time, having time to, rec uh, to record. I didn't like what I recorded, so I didn't want to put it out. I never want to put out anything I feel is mediocre. Um, to other people, my work may be mediocre, but I'm still learning at the same time. But if I feel like it's mediocre, if I feel like I didn't put my all into it or do as much as I could to you know make it the best it can, then I'm not going to put that type of product out. So that was one thing. And then the second thing is I feel like it was a little premature. I feel like I needed to put this video out first in order to explain what's about to come next versus try to put it all in one video. And it's just a lot going on. So this video is going to introduce the series and then I'll go into the series. Where So that's that. Speaking of the series, the series will be called Letters to My College Self. Um, I kind of got the idea. Well, I've had the idea for a while. Let me say it like this. I got the idea from a few different people just watching YouTube, seeing what other people do on their channels. Um, one of my favorite YouTubers right now is actually, you know, right across the yard. Her name is Alice Wheeler. And um, Alessandra is her actual name. But Wheeler, but her channel's called, uh, her brand, period, is Coffee and Cream Girls. And I'm going to link her channel down below, y'all. She is so dope. One of the first YouTubers on this campus, you know, she's doing her thing. You know, her, her channel is thriving. It looks great. She has a lot of great um, videos from DI DIYs to makeup um, tutorials to just like her clock, her lookbook kind of give you an idea of trends and looks that she likes to wear during different times. I'm pretty sure there may be a spring lookbook coming up, but she definitely has a fall one out. Um, and then just um, different things. She's about to start a series called uh, Dear High School Girls. And, um, which I think is really dope and something I wish that was around when I was in high school because high school was, whew, Lord, I made it though. And so, um, I'm going to link her down below. She's dope and she really actually inspires me, um, to step up and just step outside of my comfort zone. Some of the stuff, it looks, it seems like it comes so flawlessly to her because she's just so dope and she's so creative and just genius with a lot of things she does where some people have to actually work to come out of the show. And so, um... People don't really realize how shy I am, but when it comes to camera, being in front of people, I'm shy. I, I, I can't get jiggy with it. And so, um, I, she really um, inspired me. When she had a high school video, I'm like, that's so crazy because I have literally letters and different things written out to myself from all the years I was in college. I'm old, but I'm graduating. And um, <laughs> every year I was in college, I have letters, I have journals, I have diaries, I have videos. I have so many different things um, from college. Just, you know, looking back, you know, I think it's really dope how you can look on Facebook and see what you posted, you know, this day, four and five years ago. So, so, so to go back and read the post from my freshman year, my sophomore year, my junior year, my senior year, and even, uh, well, not this year, and then see the things that I know, the things that I post this year, it's so crazy to see the growth and the transition and even sometimes the cries for help and how I congratulate myself. It's just so crazy to see all that stuff you know, go back and read that stuff. And so for me, it, this is more so um, me sharing my story, me sharing my college experience with everyone, 
um, me being transparent about a lot of the stuff that I went through in college. Some things were, you know, I went through behind closed doors and some things I went through out, through, out in public. And so, um, I'm really excited. So this is going to be a six part series. Once again, it's called Letters to My College Self. And the first part of the series is, um, more so high school is going to touch on my junior and senior year. Um, a lot of the stuff I went through getting ready for college, everything from recruiting, uh, for me for basketball, but for or athletics, period, picking schools, filling out applications, scholarships, financial aid, all that kind of stuff, campus tours, all that kind of stuff. So that's going to be on the first um, video. I'm going to talk about my personal experience. It is going to lead all the way up until my college signing. So it'll be from junior year all the way up until January 6th, which was, which was the day I signed my letter of intent. Then the second, um, second video will be my freshman year, so it'll start from the day I signed my letter of intent, which was, like I said, June 6th, all the way up until the last day of my freshman year. And that's gonna that's gonna have a lot in that video. It's gonna talk about co shopping for my dorm for college, picking out my roommate, a lot of the preseason stuff I had to do for basketball, and then being a college athlete. We see a lot of them on TV, but people don't know the half of what goes behind goes on behind closed doors, excuse me. And so um, I'm gonna talk a lot about that, a lot about a lot about um, me going out of state to a predominantly white institution, a private predominantly white institution, being a minority and a college student and a woman. And so what that looked like for me, um, gonna be uh, very transparent and very honest about that kind of stuff. It really wasn't a bad experience for me because I'm used to being in that environment. I've always been a minority at my school. Luckily my high school was very um, mixed. And so we didn't really have a minority issue there. I mean, there were minorities, but you know, I wasn't a minority, but I wasn't the majority either. It was a really good balance. I felt like in high school or either I learned to adjust one of the two, but, um, you know, high school was a long time for me. <sighs> we ain't gonna talk about it, but, uh, <laughs> shout out to 2011, but, um, I'm going to touch on those things. And then just, um, also somewhat between my freshman video, and my sophomore video, go into that first summer coming home. Y'all know. Y'all know that first summer you come home is the worst, the absolute worst. And a lot of our parents did not go away to college, so they don't even understand like what we really are going through when we come home for that first semester. And so I'm going to talk about that. Um, it'll more so go into my sophomore video, but definitely is going to go into it in my freshman video. Speaking, so going out of my freshman video. Um, and to my sophomore video is going to touch on, like I said, that summer between your. Um, freshman and sophomore year um that transition what that looks like the craziness that goes on the oh lord that's when you, you if you thought your parents hated you in your teenage years you're gonna think they hate you then and they really don't it's just adjustment for everybody and i'm gonna touch on that how i got through it the pros and cons and all that kind of stuff and it's gonna be crazy and i'm gonna be honest and i'm gonna be transparent about it so um i'm gonna let my mom see before i put it out <laughs> but uh yeah, that's that. And then also my sophomore video um, talking about returning back to school out of state. Um, some of the different things that went on my freshman year versus my sophomore year, getting accustomed to the college lifestyle, um, being a college athlete uh, also. Um, different things that went on my sophomore year, the traveling, all that kind of stuff. And then also um, talk about me transitioning back to Oklahoma to complete my college um, tenure. So episode four will be my junior year which is my first year here at Langston. And so we'll talk, that's going to probably be the most, um, raw, it, rawest. Okay. Well, the most real episode is, um, a lot went on that episode internal. I mean that episode that year internally for me. And so now I'm finally going to talk about it. Very few people know about that year for me and how much I really just went through it internally. Um, we're going to talk about me finally, um, not finally, I don't like that word, but me not being a college athlete that year, me not being an athlete at all. That's my first time since I was four, not playing sports and my first time since sixth grade, not being a, um, a athlete for my school. And so we're going to talk about that transition, how it was very difficult for me. I had to figure out who I was off the court, outside of basketball, outside of having teammates, had to make friends for myself, all those types of things. So we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about my first year transitioning from a PWI to an HBCU, a private PWI to a public HBCU those two I don't think people understand Trans transitioning from a college to a university first of all is a huge difference transferring from a, a private school to a public school is a huge transformation and then on top of that transferring from a PWI to a HBCU is 
huge and transferring states so that transfer was a huge deal so i would definitely talk about that have about having my first real job outside of college i mean outside of having a campus job i had my first real job that summer um and just talking about growing up i turned 21 that year so we'll talk about that and different things that happened my junior year so that's probably gonna be the most real episode then we'll talk about my first senior year which was last year um a lot of the things that went on then a lot of the growth i'll talk about hamley i'll talk about some of the things i went through last year that really grew me up some reality checks and um, last year was a big spiritual growing year for me so i actually go into that which uh, that's something else i probably shared with i could probably count on one hand how many people i've shared that experience with and i still haven't even finished sharing that experience with anyone so you guys not gonna get the first look but y'all gonna get a quicker look and then finally, the sixth episode will be my graduating senior, which is this year and post graduation. So obviously, that video is not going to come out to June-ish area, and so that what we'll talk about this entire year, and then just the transition of being in school since I'm. I've been in school since I was three so that transition of coming out of school and going into the real world and what that looks like for me and how I'm finding my place and just the beginning stages of that and then I'll probably do a video uh, later to follow up to catch you guys up on what's going on with me so that will be the letters to my college self series I'm really excited um it's gonna allow me to dig up some of the things you know that I've um, put away some of the, you know some of the letters some of the diaries some of the journals I had go back and read some of my posts I used to post on social media guys I used to post some crazy stuff on social media like a lot of cuss words and stuff or what I think it's just cuz I could and you know when you finally get a little bit of freedom you just go crazy and so um you know that's something else y'all I really love my hair shout out to Brittany Jones she's part of ham and she is probably, first of all, she is one of my biggest supporters in him by far. One of the biggest supporters. The first one that that subscribed to, oh, I couldn't even get the word. I subscribed to my channel. She was the first one that watched it out of him. She's always there. You know, when anyone of us in him needs but her, she is. That pretty much sums up what's going on on my channel. Like I said, I'm going to link all my social media down below. So you guys have any ideas, anything you want to see in this um, Letters to My College Show, at the end of every episode, I will give you tips for that year. Um, for my first one, I'm actually a little late. So I do want to say this. College uh high school i mean hi, yeah high school seniors not college sorry high school seniors if you are attending if you think in the slightest mind part of your i don't even know what i'm trying to say if you just have the slightest thought that you are attending college next year you have to march first to fill out your financial aid to um qualify for a lot of different scholarship opportunities i mean you can still fill it out after that but as of the deadline march 1st is the deadline for all the scholarships and i just found that out today so you actually have it till next tuesday to get your fast fulfilled out so grab your mother grab your grandmother grab your guardian grab your father whoever a sibling and get your financial aid filled out if your parents already filled out their taxes if you know your parents social security number you can just um auto fill in the um link it to the irs and they'll fill it in for you that is the most handy dandy tool they've ever had so get that done i do want to say that i can't wait till my first video comes out to say that fafsa is huge it's free money just out there floating and if y'all giving up free money send it this way because like i said i'm a college student i gotta pay my bill so um that is all for today i just want to upgrade you update you guys lord i cannot speak today but i just wanted to update you guys let you know i'm still here you know i'm still surviving and thriving i'm still doing this thing it's it's pageant season so i don't do pageants but i help with the pageants um and so you know i've been doing that since i've been out here last congratulations to maya jackson and eugene buckman they are the new mr and miss langston university which is huge maya is the 70th miss langston university and eugene aka church is the 33rd mr langston so congratulations to both of you guys we were crying the Miss black langston this week so i'm excited but um you can see this in the court the court will be complete after this patch y'all i really love these glasses and i would like to shout out my um the assistant at the glasses place for glasses. that's all but um, like I said, thanks for joining me in Jay's closet today. Remember, everybody seems to appear to be with few experience who you really are. Follow me on all the social medias. I'm also Leaky Wheeler's YouTube page down below. So you guys go check her out. Watch all her videos. I promise you can binge watch her videos. She's that dope. And 
So um, like, subscribe, comment, send me stuff on my social media. Let me know what you guys want to see. There will be more to come. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to grow. Just trying to do what uh, I feel like I'm called to do. And it's not necessarily YouTubing, but it's just telling my stories. What I'm called. Uh, it's part of my calling, part of my gift. It's something that I need to do to walk into my calling. So I love you guys. I appreciate your love and support that you've been giving me. You all go be great. Go do something great. You know what I'm saying? Also, hold on. It's Pisces season. Yeah. Shout out to all the Pisces. If you are Pisces, I love you even more for being a Pisces. My birthday is two weeks and four days away. It's my Jordan year. Yeah. So, uh, turn up for that. But, uh, that's it. I promise you guys I'm getting up here.